Colby Ag Tech is brought to you by PTX, a new brand from Agco that includes precision ag technologies from Precision Planting and PTX Trimble. This past week, Chad Colby was on the road and his travels took him up past Boone, Iowa, where he sends us this update. With the Farm Progress Show coming up very soon here at the end of the month, I was in Iowa and I had to stop and just see how things were going and I'm looking forward to sharing you this update. With me is Rick Wild. Rick, talk a little bit about how things are progressing at this year's Farm Progress Show. Right now we've got all the tent companies on site, we've got the electricians on site, internet's on site, all the landscaping companies are on site. We are moving full steam ahead. You know, I took a drone up and flew around the site. Crops look decent. You always hold your breath with weather. Yes. I mean, my goodness, there's there's been some nasty weather through the Midwest. How do things look for the weather here for the next 10 days? So I think the weather, right now we're supposed to have some cool weather and then we're gonna go back in the heat again. As long as we keep rain away, we'll do really well. You know, we got 360 plus acres of corn, probably supposed to be looking around to black layer around the 18th of the month. So we should have good crops during field demos. Talk a little bit for you. What are some of the highlights to the Farm Progress Show other than seeing the big crowds? So my highlights coming into Boone, Iowa and or Decatur is meeting all the people that I've dealt with between law enforcement, hospitals, all that stuff. So getting to see all those people and seeing their faces and all that, that, that we're always welcome here. It's great to be in Boone, Iowa and everybody's very welcoming in town. Most people maybe think that this just, you know, it's a Monday through Friday job, but this time of year, you're actually on site. Talk a little bit about that. Yep. So I moved on site the 23rd of July and I'm usually here till September 15th and for the first week or two, it's, it, it can be a five day job for my workers, but I'm on seven days a week because I'm getting calls every single day. And then it, it will lead that way all the way to the end of the show. And then by that Saturday after the show, this place will be almost halfway cleaned out. You know, what's interesting to me is the sheer amount of equipment that it takes to put the show on. Do you have any idea how many semis bring equipment in here? I mean, it's massive. I noticed in the holding yards, there's already equipment here. Now there's been some actually on display already. Talk a little bit about that because the numbers are crazy. Yeah, I, I don't know that I can give you exact numbers on the semis that come in. We've had at least well over 50 semis come in already. And we can even talk a little bit about landscaping. You know, the landscaping folks come in, you know, just them alone bring in 80 to 90 loads of wood chips that come in this. <laughs> so it, we got a lot of truck traffic all the time. Folks, if you got any questions, go out to farmprogressshow.com. There's a lot of information there. And certainly as the days get closer, start making your plans. And we look forward to seeing you all here at the Farm Progress Show this year in Boone, Iowa.